Over the next few minutes, I want to talk about how we can grow stronger spiritually. In the Bible, it talks about our faith and our relationship with God can be like a seed, but it needs water, it needs sunlight, it needs attention. Growing stronger is that same way. We just need to give it some attention. So whenever I was in high school, I ran track, and the race that I ran was the mile relay. So what that meant was there were four of us on a team, and each one of us would run around the track one time. So I knew that the harder I trained meant the better I did in the race. But our coach every week made us run a two mile race. So two miles, that's eight times around the track. And I remember thinking, but coach, I only go around the track one time. Why are we running around the track eight times? Well, he knew something that I didn't know. Uh, I just wanted to put in just the right amount of effort uh, for that one race, for that one time around the track. But I learned very quickly that if I was able to run eight times around the track strong and I was able to do it well and I was able to do it quickly, I would be that much better at just doing it one time around the track. So if we want to be able to stand strong whenever life happens and trials and hardships come, we need to have a strong spirit. We need to strengthen our spirits. Paul says in 1 Timothy that physical training has some value, but spiritual training has the most value. I want to read what it says in 1 Corinthians 9, 24 through 26. And after we read that, I want to give you three things that you can do to grow stronger spiritually. It says, don't you realize that in a race, everyone runs, but only one person gets the prize. So run to win. All athletes are disciplined in their training. They do it to win a prize that will fade away, but we do it for an eternal prize. So I run with purpose in every step. So how do we train our spirits to be strong? I want to hit these three things right here. The first one is just do it. I can't talk about athletic training without bringing up Nike's famous tagline, just do it. But it's famous for a reason. Because Nike and all the coaches and all the athletes, they understand and know that the hardest part is just getting past that first obstacle, taking that first step. And then once you do that, it gets easier and easier and easier. So just do it. Just take some time to pray. Just take some time to read your Bible. Just put on some worship music. Just listen to a sermon. Just do something. Just take one step to get your spirit stronger, to start getting your spirit right in groove and right in the habit of, of getting stronger. The second thing you can do is to stay consistent. So after you've put in the effort, after you've taken that first step, the next hurdle is just to do that over and over and over and over again. And that's whatever that looks like for you. Maybe it's every day, maybe it's a couple times a day, maybe it's multiple times a week, but just staying consistent and doing whatever it is you're doing consistently, consistently strengthening your spirit through prayer, through reading the Bible, through worshiping. The third thing to do is to watch your diet. Now, I'm not talking about what you put in your body, what you eat, but what you put in your spirit and what you look at, what you choose to listen to, what you choose to read about, who you choose to hang around with. All that's like spiritual food that you're putting into your body. You know, a runner, if he's training for, the, for a marathon, he can't eat burgers and pizza every night and expect to perform well. It's the same spiritually. If we want to be spiritually strong, if we want to be people who walk around with that spiritual strength, then we have to watch what we put in our bodies, watch what we watch, watch what we set our minds on, watch what we think about, watch what's going on around us. All that stuff, it, it, it affects us. And so if you put in the right things, like the word of God, like songs of worship, like prayers, if you put all that stuff inside of you, that's what's going to make your spirit stronger. So growing spiritually, growing that strength, it doesn't have to be impossible. It doesn't have to be scary. It's something that you can do. It's something that you can grow in. It just takes taking that first step, being consistent, and then watching what you're keeping your eyes on, what you're thinking on, what you're meditating on. God has given you everything that you need to grow strong. So what I want you to do is I just want you to take a couple minutes, and I want you to spend some time praying, meeting with God, seeking Him, and just make a plan on how you can grow spiritually. What are you going to do? What's a step that you're going to take to grow? So take some time to pray right now and ask for God's help. He's for you, He's with you, and you can grow stronger.